And Look, all of them, all, you all of them in Lagos, Let me all of you. them in Nigeria. Listen to me. Nobody when I'm talking, no. you keep quiet. An arrogant customer who is not ashamed. Pastor Donald, why are you not picking my calls? Why haven't you paid the, the balance up to now? Telling the Honorable Court that I have not been calling him, I have not been picking his call. It's a fabricated fallacy. He did this just to debase me. You are only, and you are the one that is being arrogant at the same time. A Nollywood veteran hopes to diversify into marine transportation. Passenger boat I did not see. My money I did not see. I wanted to report him to Amadiona. He was testing the boats, wanting to want in the boat sink with engine. The husband does not like the responsibilities, but he likes all the pleasures a woman has to offer. I still the lip now. First lip person for one picking. And you go control. The dispute is real and the judgment is binding. This is the Justice Court. On the Justice Court, the plaintiff Anastasia Osaji is asking the court to compel her husband to take responsibility over the children of their marriage. All right. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Anastasia Osadi and Martin. That's his only move. Thank you. Anastasia Osadi. So, Anastasia, can you tell me why you are in court? A customer recommended the man I got married to. The, we, we met ourselves and then we started communicating. I don't know, let's use the word. He, he, he actually came in form of it. Like, he, he brought, he, I, don't, I never knew he was full of deceit and everything because everything he said was not true. He claimed he was working. I mean, I'm not the kind of person that visits. I don't go to, I hardly go to people's house. So I didn't visit him. They claimed that he works in one um, company like that, that is into IT stuff, that is, is their IT personnel. So, me, I have a good work, so I, I do not bother. Every day, he's always coming to the office, coming to the office every day. So if I ask him, he'll say he's a boss of his own. He works from home, so he's always carrying laptop up and down. So you wouldn't doubt it. So I later we met in, we always meet in, at the eatery in our Greek there, because me, I don't go to his house. But he's always coming to my parents' place, because my daddy has a house in Ekorodu. Then he came there, he came with his people for introduction. My, the, my uncle asked him, he said he works in the shell. My uncle asked for his ID card, he said he forgot the ID card. Mm -hmm. So it's not like uh, two different places. And I say, yes, that he's a big man, that he works in so many places. So after the introduction, I thought, let me just go and see his place. Let me know where you stay. At least be sure I'm getting married to a human being. I went to the house, not knowing that he staged the house for me. The house was not actually his own. He, I noticed that there was no pictures in the house and I was not asking him that. How come there is no pictures in this house? He said he doesn't like snapping pictures. That even the ones he has, they are under his bed. I don't hang pictures around. And then he was actually squatting in that house, not his house. So when we fixed traditional marriage, that was um, December 26, we fixed the traditional marriage. He claimed that um, his bank was um, the account. They blocked his account because of BVN. I know then that was BVN. Uh, they were actually doing things for BVN. If you don't go and rectify the BVN stuff, so I actually believed him anyway. I said I should give him some money so I can able to join hands and we should do the things. Me, I'm a very free woman. Me, maybe that's my fault. I actually gave gave him the thing. Then we did our traditional marriage 26. Then on the traditional marriage day, the, the night, the eve before the marriage, he called me that he has some confessions to make. I was not like, okay, I'm listening. He said, the house he took me to, that the house is not his house. That, and I said, how? He said that he's actually squatting with a woman there that is not his house. That woman is just like an, his aunt, that he's squatting with her. And I said, okay, fine. Is it just the house? Do you have any other confession I need to know? He said, no, that. I said, about your job? Are you actually working? He said, yes. So I said, okay, fine. If it's just house, it's something I can actually afford. So... I, that one is nothing to me. Moreover, I don't even like the house that I went to that day. It was somehow, I don't like the house. So I carried on with the wedding. 
Then when we clear, after the wedding, because my place, I'm able, once you do, you've paid your bride place and you don't try to show you are free to move to your husband's house. So I went with him that day, like they'll tell you, go home, can't know your husband's place. I went with him. We went to his friend's place at um, Owode Oniri. We went there. Uh, you know, guys, now they were just taking drink and everything. And uh, just like, ah, it must happen this night, stuff like that. As in, me, I'm not that kind of party person or that kind of noise person. I don't really like noise. So I was irritated by what they were doing. So I had to go inside, excuse myself. I went inside. He came, he was just drinking and everything. And then he firstly had his way. I, mean, I, didn't, I forgot to bring the clothes. I wanted to bring because I kept that clothes since 2015. I kept that clothes. Because anytime I look at that clothes, I kind of like, you know, like I actually put myself into this mess. I was not like, is, am I sure I'm not making a mistake that I don't understand? First time I'm meeting this person, this is, he's doing it in a forceful way, like forcefully taking out and um, having his way without even my consent, without, even when I'm not even in the mood and in your friend's place for that matter. He apologized and everything. We moved to the hotel. We stayed for like a week in the hotel. I paid for it. Then I asked him to go and get an apartment that I'm going to pay for it. So he went, he got one apartment in Abaranje in Kotu. I stay in Ikorodu. So I had to ask for my um, transfer from Ikorodu to Ikotun. Then I paid for the house. It's a two bedroom flat. I moved in there. I got pregnant the first time, about seven, seven weeks. I had a miscarriage. So we were still talking about it. He told me it's because he told his dad that his people are fetish, that if I should take him again, that he will not tell his people. And I was not like, you telling your dad that I'm, I'm pregnant, how does he affect the pregnancy? He said, ah, I don't understand. I thought I used to go to native doctor, all those places. So, so I took him the second time and everything. I noticed that he wasn't going to work. And I asked him, what happened? He now said ah, that his boss sacked him. I said, why? He said he fought his boss, that he didn't know what came over him. He fought his boss and the man had to. I said, how will you fight your boss? Who does that? And he expects such person to keep me in the company. Nobody will do that. He said that uh, he was so angry that day. So if I go to work in the morning, he follows me to work. So that people in the company will not know that he's actually not working. So when I, when I close and I'm coming back, he's coming back with me. We went to the house together. together. So things started. He was always complaining. In my phone, he would not allow me to use my phone. Even my siblings, he tried to even separate me from them because if you send me a text, he's always checking my chat. He, he can just pick up my phone and start chatting your messenger. He wants to know what they're going to respond. Maybe all oh, this, like, oh, use a pet name for me. Then he will not know that, okay, fine, this is your boyfriend or this. And me, I'm not that kind of person. I don't even have the time, self. So he was always doing that. And before you know it, he was just suspecting everybody. Then I think one day, and then I was, I, I was three to four months pregnant. Then I went to work one day. He asked me if, if they've paid. Because like, we Demon Bank paid on, they always pay on the 24th. I told him that they've not paid us, that they said they have technical delay or something. He could not believe that. He thought I was lying, but I have spent my money. So we were still arguing about it. He just laughed at me. I was not like, I, I don't understand. My own money, I still beating me again on my own money. He came to the office, it was not like asking my colleague to play, play like, ah, Obi, you guys have finished your money. Obi said, no, they've not paid us that. Uh, they said they will pay us so, so they, and I said, okay. And I came back to that. So I allow peace reign. I do the, I go to work, but he does the spending. He's with my ATM card. I go to work. I do everything. But when they pay me, he's always the ones doing the spending. And I don't complain. It continued like that till we went to the house one day. So went to the house one day, I think I was almost 20, almost six months or seven months or so. So we went to the house and I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you. Went to the house one day, then my parents' house, after he has hit me the second time, and I, I had to go there, because me, I don't, I'm not the kind of person that keeps friends. So I don't tell people the fact that I'm passing through. No matter what I'm passing through, if you see me outside, you don't know. If you see me out, you'll know, no, because I'm always smiling. That's me. So, we got home that day. Then, as usual, it's not my way of having sex with his wife, as usual. He came to my father's house because I have my room my father's house. I have a room there. He came there, came inside the room that. I was like, uh -uh, in my own father's house, why not we let's get home? As he, he locked the door, as usual, and had his way. And me, due to his, my first time of getting to that state, I don't know what pregnancy is all about. The water. We saw water. But we did not understand what that thing was. 
So, it was not like, ah, what's this water? I said, I don't know. Should I tell mommy? I said, no, if you tell mommy, you ask us, what did we do that brought this water? Let's be going. I said, okay, fine, let me, we should go to the hospital. We went back to the house. The next morning, I went to the hospital, and they told me, baby is no longer alive. So, imagine that didn't happen. I just called my mom. I'm no longer interested in the marriage. Like, they should call it off. I'm not interested. They, I said that he was not telling the super, super management, um, the doctor, the MD, that he should plead with me. They discharged me three days before the white wedding. I refused to prepare for anything. I was not even preparing for anything. The wedding plot, I did not even prepare. My parents, they were just trying to like, beg me that it's not so many bodies' fault. But me, I know what happened. And I knew whose fault it was. It was just like, it's the devil, it's the devil. That we should just try and forget, forget everything that it will not happen again. He went to the church, he was now waiting for me. They pleaded with me. I had to now, okay. I said, okay, let me give him another chance. I went to meet him in the church. After the wedding, we have not even gotten to the house, Seth. The, after the, because we did reception at this place. The madness started again and he started vibrating. We were just shouting. My daddy was like, in my own house, you're telling me you will beat my daughter. You didn't. Is that how people have been living in your house? I was just, I was just lying. Tell my dad that, no, he does not beat me. No, that's, no, I just, ah. He's just playing, maybe he's drunk, that he doesn't do all those things. Because one thing about Igbo is, the way you present your husband to your family, even if tomorrow he changes, that impression that you have given to them, they can never correct it like that. So that's why I don't want to give him that impression that he's a bad person. So I'm just trying to like cover him up that he's fine. My dad doesn't joke with me. So I just told my dad that, no, everything is fine. We stayed there and we left, and then we continued back to the Ekoto. That was all day. God now finally blessed me with a son. I had my first son, even though he was still beating me in that pregnancy. And I didn't tell anybody. If I come to, most times, if I had bruises in my body, I would not go to work. I just call my boss, I'm not feeling fine. I will stay back at home. Then, if I'm going the next day, I'll just wear a long sleeve. If they see the mark, oh, what happened to you? I'll tell them I fell from bike. I will not tell them what happened. I will just continue like that. Till my son, then my bank always give us four, four months maternity leave. So after the four months, I had my son through CS. So after the four months maternity leave, I brought my mommy brought my small cousin from village to come and stay with my son so I can resume back to work. And that was 20, November 2018. He came back one day. He said, a pastor said he has offended his wife, that he should go and beg his wife. And the job he's looking for, he will get it. He brought Fanta, he brought pure water, and then I think he bought one other thing too. He now knelt down before me and I was now saying I should pray for him, I should, like, I should, I should forgive him. And I said, ah, you didn't tell him I'm the one that is doing you. Now, what, what would I be holding your job for what now? If you have the job, it also benefits me. And I said, no, I should please forgive him that. The pastor said, once I forgive him with my heart, he will get the job the next day. I quoted Piotr, I blessed the Piotr. I quoted, he said I should drink it. I took the drink and then he went to bath with the Piotr. The next day around after 11, he called me on phone that he has gotten the job in Sonoma Cargo in Apapa. They called him for the job and they called him as a, a post of manager. So I was so happy. Even though I've not seen the certificate since I got married to him, till date, I, I don't know. He told me he's a graduate of UNN. I've never seen the certificate before. Graduate of UNN, ma. Okay. Anastasia alleges that her husband said they are divorced with a divorce certificate to prove it. She claims she was not served divorce papers or summoned to any court. She wants the court to investigate the divorce matter and invalidate the certificate of divorce. When it comes to, you've gone through a lot in your marriage. And I'm sure if I leave, you can talk. You keep on, you will not even repeat anything for the next three, four hours. Because you've gone through and you have a lot to say. Um, I could see a family picture we submitted there. This, right? And this. That's the, that's him over there. All of you as a family. That's Matthew, and that's the girl. Even the girl that even told him to poison my food. Which girl? Gloria Ibuti. This one. Who's this? No, that's not me. Who's this? Same person. That's the baby she had for him now. That's the lady. That's their baby, their new baby. 
No, no, let me let me round up. Okay, try and round up. Okay. So he got the job and then I was so happy. Order. Then you know the rule they gave him, he needs to be making reports every day. He doesn't know anything about accounts, he doesn't know anything about reports. So with my knowledge and in Diamond Bank, I made the reports for him. My daddy is, is his grand for him, that's his place of work. The most time if I'm busy, I send the report to my dad. My dad makes the report, send it back to me, I forward back to him. It got to a point. My colleague called me to one post on Facebook, and then I saw the um, this girl on her birthday. She the way he wrote things and everything. The my word, my this. I was not like I don't suspect him, but that day I was not like, what happened to this person? And I said this person is ah, he's his sister. I said this sister that I don't know for how many years, and he's not now. That I know. I said they work in the same company. I did not doubt him. So that night I was sleeping, and then the, the voice woke me up, and then that day would have been my last day on earth, on earth anyway. But God said no. So I woke up, the voice just directed me to Palo. I never knew he used to hide his phone inside that Ghana must go. So I went there, since I should open the bag, I opened the bag and I saw his phone. The thing called one code 2964. I can remember it very well, 2964. And I typed the code and the phone opened. Till today, I don't know how to download WhatsApp deleted messages, but I was able to download it that day. And I saw you, uh, my soulmate. I opened the message. I was not like, it was, the girl was telling him. You no, know, he told the girl, hi, I normally take my food. Because, you know, my husband, I'll tell you, I put my food in the fridge when I get to the work. So later, I'll go and warm it and eat. So he, the girl, I said, you should put poison in my food that when I get to work, since I don't normally eat immediately, that they will not trace it back to the house. They will suspect my colleagues in the office. So I did a screenshot for the, of that, and I forwarded it to myself, and I deleted it. There's saw a place where his boss, Mr. Fred, was telling him that this girl that he just met, why not leave her and stick to your wife that has been with you for this year? The man was just like advising her like a, like a father. Because the man is his in-law, so he's marrying his younger sister. So the man was just like, I screenshot all those songs. Both the one he was discussing with the um, best man, I screenshot all those things. It's, it's just that the phone now is bad. I will have showed you everything. So when I saw those things, I was bitter. I was not like, why is this man trying to kill me? I even proved itself. I was in the kitchen cooking my noodles. That I didn't make any food to work. I went to work empty like that. A pregnant woman, I didn't go to school. I had to, I've never eaten somebody's food before. Without they ate Esther's food, I tell Esther, give me, give me food, I'm hungry. She was not like, you eat somebody's food. And I said, how? I told her, I don't feel like eating my food. So she was thinking it's pregnancy symptoms, well, it does not. But me, I know what I was running for. The next day was until I didn't go to work. I, I was cooking in noodles in the fire. Then I entered the bedroom. Before I just called me, I should go back. He, he entered, I saw him in the kitchen. He was putting something and he was not staring at it. He saw me, I was not like, I was like, what are you doing? He said, it's time to help me. I said, noodles are just put now. You're trying to help me. And I said, can somebody help me again? I said, okay, no problem. I went back to the bedroom. The boy, the boy is not like, don't eat that food. I said, even if he did not even tell me to eat that food, I won't be stupid enough to eat that food. I went for tonight. I came back. He poured the noodles in the dustbin and made his own noodles and ate. So just one week before the operation, they want to do another CS for me. So I went to my parents' house. Then the CS, the, my hospital is in Kotsu, and that's on both sides. They then called him to come and sign for the operation. He refused. He told the doctor that Amadi, if I want to die with the baby, let me die with the baby. The man was like, ah. The man had told me, I did not believe. I called him myself. I said, okay, fine. If you don't, you don't want to see us, just come to the gate. They will give you the paper you sign. You go back to where you're going to. Don't, you don't need to see us at all. He said, it's not his business. That he has, he's done with us. So that if we want to die, they let us die there. My mommy came from the crowd to come and sign. And they had to pity her because she was crying that not to trouble to her daughter. Comfort, luxury, style, class, tranquility, and nature. The ideal home for today's game changers has all these and more. Looking for more? Then look no further than Masters Villa. An ultra-modern luxury estate nestled in the very heart of the Lekki Peninsula. The avant-garde architectural styles of our homes and villas reflects a lifestyle that is both exclusive and intuitive. So, are you looking for more? Then look no further than Posino Homes and Gardens. Call us today on these numbers. Posino Homes and Gardens, your choice today. And I came back after one week and I said, hey, these children, who is the father of these children? 
Your, the first one is fair. This one is fair. Him is dark. In their family, they are dark. My son speaks like white. Him is a local man. It was just... He was just saying so many things. Mommy was not like, you don't understand what, what is wrong. Is this a madness or what? You know, I said, like, for my information, that he doesn't do this kind of thing, no. Ah, no, 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 no. That our kind of children is this. They're so fair. Look at her lips. Look at, no, 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 no. That I, he doesn't want to see me and this bastard in his house again. He referred to the children as bastard, my children. So I watched him leave. He, in my mommy's presence, he told us that we should never come to the house again. That he's giving us five days to come and pack our things. I was still on plaster. And this, my second operation, really affected me. Because I even did, I just, since 2019, I've been on plaster. Till first week of July, 2021, I've been on plaster. So we went to the house. He already brought out everything. Even the goat TV I bought, he lost everything. He kept it for me in the parlor, packed everything. I just came, met my daddy. My daddy was even, my daddy called his father. His father said, eh, his son has taken a decision. So what did they want you to do? My daddy called his young, um, the, the mother's elder brother. Town said, you know him now, he's a very stubborn guy. If he has taken it because he now has money, they now say, ah, eh, since he, has, he said he has moved on with his life, let your daughter move on with her life. She should go and meet the father of the children now. The children are so fair. I don't know where they are. she got to do those kind of color from. I don't understand. So they now, um, they now, he brought her those things, we now packed those things and left. Since then, if I call him, he blocked me on every social media and poked me everywhere. No, nothing, nothing, no communication. He doesn't want to see us, he doesn't want to see the children. He continued till March 7, he got married to the girl, that girl. We did everything, I was legally married to him. He went to marry that girl, tradition. I did tradition already, March 7, 2020. So I've not been working since last year. Then him, that is the father of the children. He did not want to take care of the children, nothing, nothing. He went ahead and married the girl. He even went and passed or blessed their marriage. He bought a car for the girl. The girl was just sampling it in the whole Facebook. Since January, I kept on, I sold everything I have. Both clothes, even our rent self is you. Clothes and everything. Just make sure my children will be able to survive and go to school. Yet, he's not helping us, he's not doing anything. Then I had to like, go to, somebody directed me to command in Keja. I went, they went to gender. I went to complain to them. They asked me to give them they were even asking for 5,000 naira. So I told them, I didn't even have anything to eat in my, eat in my house. They said, okay, I should bring 3,000 naira. I, I called my brother to help me hold it for the money. And he gave me it. Then I went to serving paper in this office. And I came. So they now called me that he's around. I, I got there. Um, the woman asked, uh, asked him what, what the problem was. He told the woman that we've been divorced, which she I'm not aware. He brought out one document. He gave it to the woman. He told the woman that we've been divorced. The man said, uh, is it true? I told her, I'm just hearing this for the first time. That I'm not aware of anything. I didn't go to anywhere. Nobody invited me, nothing, nothing. So I'm just appealing to this honorable court and lordship to please help me investigate this branding document called divorce letter. Let me know how real it is. Because I, am, I know nothing about it. Then number two, for the maintenance of the children. They are very sick. They came with me. Comfort, luxury, style, class, tranquility, and nature. The ideal home for today's game changers has all these and more. Looking for more? Then look no further than Masters Villa, an ultra-modern luxury estate nestled in the very heart of the Lekki Peninsula. The avant-garde architectural styles of our homes and villas reflects a lifestyle that is both exclusive and intuitive. So, are you looking for more? Then look no further than Posino Homes and Gardens. Call us today on these numbers. Pazina Homes and Gardens, your choice today. Um, I realize you've not submitted, or I don't have a copy. Okay. They have it. They, it's submitted. It's we have it at the table. Okay. So we conduct search on that and revert to it. And the legal team is going to sit down with you and analyze all your rights to you and they give you all the options you have 
So you now decide on the step that you actually want. Then we take it from there. The defendant is not present in court. Judge Fumi was moved with sympathy over the plaintiff's situation. She offers a lifeline and steps down this matter. All right. Okay. I rise. All right. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case.